It's time to move beyond the politics of yesterday because we are the party of tomorrow. We're going forward. But I can promise you this. I will always tell you what I think. I will always tell you where I stand. I will be honest with you about the challenges we face as a nation. We will win this general election, and then you and I together, we can change the country and change the world. Starting today, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin again the work of remaking America. This is the change we all can believe in. America's best days are behind her. You voted for change, but you're not getting any change today. I hereby order. Guantanamo will be closed. It was my idea to withdraw. I withdrew. When I realized the mistake, I paid the tax in full. Tom made the decision. Uh, I take responsibility for this mistake. These were careless mistakes. They were avoidable mistakes. Our economic crisis could become a national catastrophe. If we do everything right, there's still a 30% chance we're going to get it wrong. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage that has an extra bathroom and can't pay their bills? Raise their hand. How about we all... President Obama, are you listening? Look at this bill. This bill has got to be done by tonight. Then you get the argument, well, this is not a stimulus bill, this is a spending bill. What do you think a stimulus is? What happened to the promise that we're going to let the American people see what's in this bill for 48 hours? But no, we don't have time to do that. Here you go. It's not so I shamelessly say, no, I want him to fail if his agenda is a far left collectivism. We have always been, and we, I believe, continue to be a nation of cowards. The United States government will stand behind your warranty. There have been times where America has shown arrogance and been dismissive, even derisive. We do not consider ourselves a Christian nation. I've not made the guacamole uh, yet, but uh, if somebody can get me a relatively sharp knife. We are going to pass health care reform. For our country, we have to do it for our citizens. Here we are with a bill that is going to top over a trillion dollars with no way of paying for it. Those briefing me in September 2002 gave me inaccurate and incomplete information. I would advise the administration to think very carefully about the course ahead. Court of Appeals is where policy is made. And I know, and I know this is on tape, and I should never say that because we don't make law. It's not productive, given the history of U.S.-Iranian relations, to be seen as meddling. I respectfully disagree. Uh, with the position that the administration has taken. Our first stimulus bill, it seemed to me it was sort of like taking a half a tablet of Viagra. Now, if anybody thinks that uh, uh, all of this bureaucracy is needed uh, to fix our health care system, I would uh, politely disagree. You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer is yes, I'm telling you. And there you have it, six months of hope and change, a soaring deficit, a failed stimulus, and a foreign policy ashamed of everything this country stands for. And folks, he's just getting warmed up.